So if you are an online entrepreneur or business owner, one of the best ways to stay focused, productive, and move quickly through your tasks is to use tools and in this case, Chrome extensions. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about the top eight Chrome extensions that I use to run my business, stay focused, stay productive, and get stuff done quickly. Hey, what's going on? It's Sean Anthony, and if you're an online entrepreneur looking to level up your business, your skills, and your income, head below right now and hit that subscribe button, and I post videos just like this every Tuesday and every Thursday. So in this video, I talk about eight Chrome extensions that are crucial to helping me run my business, stay productive, stay focused, and get stuff done quickly without doing a ton of manual work. So I'm gonna keep this intro short. I'm gonna jump right into my computer here and show you how I use each of these Chrome extensions. They're a mix of both free and paid Chrome extensions and I'm gonna show you each of those right now. Let's jump right into it. What's going on guys? So in this video, I'm gonna show you eight Chrome extensions that I use in my business to help me be more productive and to help me move quicker and to help me stay focused on, on the task at hand. Okay, so these are extensions that I use pretty much on a daily basis. So let's jump into it right now. Uh, this first one here is called Colorzilla. Now, I, actually, I don't think I use this one on, on a daily basis, but if I'm trying to figure out, like if I go to someone's website and I like the color scheme or I like a specific color, I use Colorzilla to figure out exactly what color is being used. So if I just go to this little extension here, I, I pick color from the page. This is free, by the way. And I can go over, this is my agency website. If I go to this button here, it's not working for some reason. There we go. And I click on it and I paste it in here. You can see there's a hex code, right? And if I wanna use this specific color on a button or on a page, all I gotta do is paste this code here, right? So if you've ever gone to someone's site or someone's like a website of a, of a person or a company and you'd like their color scheme and you wanted to take some of their colors or use some of their colors, it's a very easy and quick way to do that, right? Use this Colorzilla extension here. Now, the next thing is Fonts Ninja. And what this does is pretty much the same thing as colors, but for fonts. So if I click on this and I like someone's font, uh, I'll just click on that little extension. This is another free extension. I'll hover over the text and you can see it tells you the exact size, the exact font family, and the exact, oh, it has a color as well here, right? So very awesome tool, this, this, font, this fonts ninja tool or extension. I use this whenever, whenever I see someone's font that I like, um, I will hover over their website and I'll use this little extension here to figure out what they're using and how big this, this font is, right? So it helps me with my layout as well as what font families to use. So that's number two. Number three, we're gonna jump into some video stuff now, is a tool I call vidIQ. Now I use a paid plan for this, uh, but they have a free plan as well. Now what vidIQ does is obviously you know that I post some YouTube videos, so I use it for YouTube, right? So let's just type in, let's go into a video here. Um, let's see, how to create a YouTube video. And what's cool is it shows you like the overall score of like the keyword. Like if I wanna use this keyword, it tells me like the average views of like the channels here. It, tell, it gives me a score, like is this a good keyword to go after, to create a video around. And also what I can do is I can see like the like to dislike ratio to find out which, which videos are getting good engagement and good traction, right? So I might click into one of these just for an example. Let's click the sunny here. I'm gonna turn off the sound. And what you can also see here is more stats on these videos, right? So you can see like how many views it's getting per hour, how many views total it has, what kind of keywords they're ranking for that they have on this video. This one doesn't have too many tags at all. Let's try to find one. Oh, let's just go to my channel, for example. Okay, so if I go here, go to your channel. Uh, let's just go to this video. You can see here, it shows all the video tags, right? So all the tags that I'm using in this video on the side here. And I can see other performing videos on YouTube. If they're doing well, I can see what kind of tags they're using and do more research on that, right? So it gives you volume score or overall scores for all these video tags. And I might use those tags in future videos, right? So it gives me a lot of good intel and stats on what to create my videos around and what are like good content topics to go into which is why you might see me posting a lot about drop servicing, right? It's a hot topic and it applies to what I do in my business. 
So that is number three, that's extension number three. Now number four is this tool called uh, Video Speed Controller. And you don't really, all you gotta do is install it. It's another free tool. VidIQ is like the only paid tool that I use so far that I showed you. Video Speed Controller, what this does is, let me just play this video. You can skip ahead or you can skip back or you can speed up these videos, right? So you can see like I'm talking super fast now. So let's just say that you're watching videos on regular normal websites. You can, you can play with the actual controls of the video, right? You can already do that on YouTube. But if I go to someone's website and I want to speed it up, I can do that, right? Or skip ahead or skip backwards. Uh, it's a very easy tool to help me do that, okay? So that is number four. Number five is something called Emoji Keyboard. Yep. And this just gives me a quick keyboard to access any, any emojis that I'm typing out. So I use this especially when I'm writing things or when I'm in my Facebook group. Uh, let's just see something right here, right? You can see this, this little flame here. So if I'm typing something in my Facebook group, I can easily find this and just find all these different emojis without having to Google search what, what it actually is, right? So you can search for things too. Let me just type in fire, there we go. Or like a bell, right? So I use a lot of emojis when I'm typing things out to show expressions and to kind of spice up the posts. So this really helps me to quickly find emojis for my posts, especially when I'm doing uh, posts in my Facebook group. Now, here, that was number one, two, three, four, five. We're going to, into number six now, which is a extension called the Group Funnels. Now this is also a paid tool that we use, but if you're running a Facebook group, it's absolutely crucial that you have a tool like Group Funnels, right? Now, what does this do? Well, if you ask questions, which you should, when people join your group, you can instantly take these people and, and port them into whatever email autoresponder, email CRM that you're using. We use Active Campaign. So Group Funnels is linked up to our Active Campaign account. So what happens is, I'm gonna click on this. You can see Douglas here is requested to join. I'm just gonna approve all. There we go. Now I'm gonna click on group funnels here and view data. And if I go to my group, that's weird. It should show up here. <laughs> I don't know why it's not working this one time that I'm recording a video. But let me just show you what it looks like in the actual sheet, okay? So it ports it, once it shows up here, which I have no idea why it's not doing it right now, it should show up in this sheet here, this Google sheet. And this is just a sheet with all the people who have requested to join my group uh, and I have all their information here of the questions they answered when they tried to join. So you can see they have their emails here. This gets ported into Active Campaign instantly. And you can see here, it's, it's a great way to keep track of all the leads that are joining my group. So you can see all these emails here from people that are filling out questions in my Facebook group here. And from there, they get ported into here. And from here, they get ported into my Active Campaign account where I can send them some email follow-ups, right? So you can see we have 485 people since, when was this started? January, we signed up for this. So um, pretty awesome tool, right? It saves you a ton of time from manually copying and pasting things. So if you run a Facebook group, highly recommend you get a tool like Group Funnels. Now, the next one is called Loom. And Loom we use for a few different things. I use it for prospecting when I'm doing sales and I'm, I'm sending messages to people that I want to become clients. I'll use Loom. It's a free tool to record videos of yourself and of your screen. I also use it to help me train my team. So if I'm training like a new virtual assistant or a new freelancer or someone who's joining my team on a certain process, I'll use Loom to create quick little videos. Um, so let me just, I don't know how to get to the, the Loom screen here. I think that's what it's called. Let's log in here. And you can see here is a ton of my videos, right? All these videos that I've recorded with Loom. So you can see here, there's a video of me. You can see my face as well as what's on my screen there, right? So I use this to create training videos. I use it to create sales videos and prospecting videos. Awesome, awesome tool. Another free tool for you to use. Now, the last tool that I use, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The, the eighth tool or extension that I use is called Newsfeed Eradicator. And this is a free tool. And what it does is, let me go to my home on my Facebook, is I used to have the hardest time staying focused. Like the Facebook newsfeed is a, it's a complete black hole, right? If you jump onto your newsfeed, you're gonna get sucked in pretty quickly to all the posts that are crowding your timeline. 
So I use Newsfeed Eradicator to make sure that all of the, my, my newsfeed is basically eradicated, right? I don't have any newsfeed posts in here. So I never get distracted. I don't get sucked into the black hole that is Facebook. I get on Facebook, I post content into my group and I get off, that's it, right? Uh, I don't spend too much time in Facebook and just browsing around getting sucked into this. So what Newsfeed Eradicator does is it replaces your newsfeed with motivational and like inspirational quotes or like knowledgeable quotes, right? Just like this here, right? Um, so it's an awesome tool to help you stay focused. This probably saves me like two to three hours per day browsing around in the, in the Facebook newsfeed, which I actually used to spend so much time doing. And it helps me to stay focused on the task at hand, task at hand in my business. Okay. So those are the eight Chrome extensions that I use as an online entrepreneur to run my business. Uh, these are the ones that I use most frequently. Of course, there's, you can see there's a lot of other ones on here that I use, and there's probably more if I click on this button here. Uh, but these are the ones that I use like almost on a daily basis or a weekly basis or most frequently. Okay. So number one is Colorzilla. Number two is Fonts Ninja to look at people's fonts and what they're using. Number three is VidIQ to see like statistics on YouTube and which videos are doing well and what content to create my videos around. Number four is video speed controller. So you can speed up and go backwards and forwards on certain videos on web pages on the internet. Number five is emoji keyboard. So I can easily find emojis by just clicking this and searching for the emojis that I'm looking for. Number six is group funnels. So for Facebook groups, I can easily port people who are joining my group and answering questions into my active campaign email CRM. Number seven is Loom. I can record quick videos that I use for sales prospecting or for training my team. And number eight is Newsfeed Eradicator, which replaces your newsfeed with inspirational and motivational and like intelligent quotes just like this, okay? So I hope you guys got some value out of this. This is a little look into like the tools that I use. A lot of people ask, hey, what tools and softwares do you use for your business? I'll make another video on the actual softwares that I use, but these are the Chrome extensions that really help me with productivity and getting the job done on a daily basis. So I hope you guys like this and uh, let me know what you think below in the comments and like this video if you're on YouTube and I'll see you in the next video.